Today, we talk about Fantasia and hiring a retainer. Ooh, welcome, friends, to a new episode of Final Fantasy XIV. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, thanks for all your comments on the last video. I am still working through all of them. And uh, I really appreciate you guys engaging and helping me out. Um, this community is so amazing. So super huge thanks to all of you. I really appreciate every view and every comment that you guys make. Thank you so very much. All right, so um, today I want to take a look at Fantasia. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Elzean. Um, I thought that I would be, but um, it hasn't really grown on me like I was hoping it would. So um, I want to go back to being a small person. Um, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, today. We're going to take a look at Fantasia. So apparently you can use these and you can you can now re-edit your character's appearance in the background. Uh, what? Remove all your gear, log out to the character. Okay, uh, you can re-edit your character's appearance and background. Uh, remove all gear and log out to the character creation screen. Okay, um, so let's go to this. Um, is there a way to uh, unequip all? Okay, we're just gonna do this, I guess. All right, so apparently you can't. Oh, weapons cannot be unequipped. Okay, uh, is that it? No, that's not quite what I wanted, but um, all right. I think we're good. Let's see what we can do with Clobberstomp Ilm. Uh, so log out, log out and return to the title screen. Let's see what happens if we go to start. Connecting to the server. If you wish, you can edit your character's race, sex, and appearance. Um, yes. So if you click on this. Okay. Um, log in with Clobberstump Ilm. Cancel and access the subcommand menu to re-edit your, oh. Um, is this it? Okay, a new feature has been allowed you to save backups of your characters. That's not what I want. Um, do I have to back out? No. I'm not quite sure what I need to do here. Ah, re-edit character. So right-clicking is how you do this. Right-click and then go to re-edit. Are you certain you wish to alter your character's appearance? Aesthetician, exclusive hairstyles or face paint patterns will be unavailable depending on your race selected. Uh, certain hairstyles, helmets uh, will be unavailable. You may log in with your character as is. Okay. Load previous saved appearance data. No. Okay, so here we are. Um, Wildwood. Nope. Uh, Elzian. We want to change to a Lalafell. Yep. And do we want to be a boy or a girl? Let's see. Um, you know what? Since I usually choose the female dwarves, we're going to try a tiny little cute Lalafell. Look at her. She is adorable. And okay, Plains Folk or Duns Folk? Um,. Don't think it matters one way or another. What's the difference? All right, maybe we should read this. Uh, from the flat landscapes of the Plains Folk, uh, I guess it probably doesn't matter. Luminous eyes. Glossy protective layer which covers their pupil. Evolutionary response to their homelands. Glaring sunlight. 
All right, sure. Um, appearance. So, height. Can we be super tall or super short? Let's be as short as possible. 34.2 inches or 38.2 inches. You have a distance of four inches. Let's go to 77%. There we go. 37.3 inches, that's how we are. Um, bust size, does it matter? <laughs> it's a Lalafell, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, and we can be different colors. So, um, can you be black, super black? No. I want to kind of maybe look like Vivi. You know what? Let's choose something maybe in the middle. All right. That looks good. A nice tan little Lala. Oh, and we have all these cute hairstyles. Oh my gosh. This is going to take me forever. <laughs> oh man. Uh, space buns. Oh, all right. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, um, I don't even know how to be as like, there's so many options. So we have to pick hair that we kind of probably like, uh, probably mainly because if you're not wearing a helmet or any type of face, whatnot, all right. Whoa. She's kind of like a hardcore Lala. Whoa, what, what, what? What happened? Oh, all right, so I found one I liked. I think this is pretty good, the little piggy tails. There's a ton of them in here. I had to search through all of them to figure it out. Um, oh my goodness, and now we have hair color. Um, all right, I think we could probably do something like a greenish bluish color mm. wow look at that that's super cool i like that quite a bit actually oh maybe we do a little bit lighter All right, I think that looks pretty good. We want to be more greenish or like a darker blackish green. I kind of think I like that the way it is. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, face. Let's take a closer look. All right. That one looks sad. We want one that looks happy. I think the first one looks the best. All right. Um, jaw. All right, we're gonna have a short, shallow face. Eye shape. Oh, you can change all the shapes, okay. I think two looked the best. Oh, big ones. We'll do six. Super big eyes. And then iris. Can't really tell the difference between the two. Ah, here we go. And we can look super creepy. Yes, we want to look super creepy, like um, kind of like Vivi. Is there, what kind of yellows do we have? Pink is kind of neat. I think I kind of like the white eyes the best. I know that seems a little bit basic. I have all these options, but... Um... I 
think maybe we'll go... All right, yeah, I, I like those ones. Um, eyebrows. Ooh, we can make her look super angry. No, we're gonna be nicer than that. I think we want the number twos. Yeah, or number fours. We'll go with number fours. Nose. Oh, they're so cute. We'll give her a bigger nose. Mouth. We'll give her number three, I think. Yeah. Lip color. Oh. I think we'll give her the darkest lips that we can find. All right, eye, ear shape. Oh my goodness. I think I like the first ones best. All right, we'll go mid range. Facial features. Oh, longer eyebrows. Oh, we don't need that. Our hair covers that up. Darker eyes, yeah. A brown nose and an earring. Um, no, I think we'll go earring. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go with the earrings. Tattoos. No, we're not gonna be a left eye or right eye. Tattoo. Oh, but you could do different colors. No. Face paint. Oh, here we go. So there's all these different things. I kind of like the eyes. On the outside or the inside? That's kind of huge. Face paint color. I kind of like them to be light like that. That's cool. Oh, voices. Um, teeth <laughs> all right I, I don't think the voice matters much but that's all good I think we're good here much better get to see how she looks in the world oh Adorable. Yep. I made the right decision. We are now Alala. Yes. Uh, we're going to save it right over the slot one. Cutest Lala. Adorable. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, uh, so we have all these different things. Does any of this stuff matter? I don't remember. Watcher of the Sea Goddess Navigation, Guardian uh, Deity of Limso Laminza. Okay, sure. <laughs> all right, sounds good. I think we're, oh, job close. <gasps> what? Oh, man. All right, there we go. 
much better. So obviously if we're in our job clothes, you're not gonna see her, but when we're in our race attire or any other types of attire, uh, we will. So we look much better. All right. I'm satisfied with my changes. We are so much better off now. Yes. So that is how you use Fantasia. Um, this was probably a longer video than we kind of all expected, but um, now I have to queue. Okay, we're back in the game and I look super adorable as always. And all right, let's um, recommend my gear. Equip. Oh my gosh, look how flipping adorable I am. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. So good. Oh my goodness. So are there, that is the best that I have here? Oh, I can't use that. Okay, so there's things I can't use. I need to figure out how to sell that stuff. Awesome, so what does this mean? I don't know what this value means, but if I take all of my things off, um, it looks like it, it goes down. So clearly there's things that help, but I'm not exactly sure how it all works. Um, I don't think we need a shield, do we? It didn't apply it for us, so I think we're good. And the piggy's out the back. Oh, and look at how she runs. Oh, she's adorable. I am so much more happy. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, Nalia was just too big. Um, I like being a smaller person, I guess. So this is cool. I am very excited. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to take a look at was um, somebody mentioned to me about retainers. So there's tons of shops here. Um, let's see if we can find um, a retainer because that's something that we need to consider taking a look at as well. Um, but I'm not quite sure exactly where they are. Um, retainer vocate. Here we are. Sweet. Okay, so, oh, you're a Lala too. Greetings, I take it you've come to see me about a retainer. Yes. Uh, okay, so we hire a retainer, dispatch a retainer to Ulda, release a retainer, ask about retainers. Sure, that's a good idea. Who are retainers? Uh, retainers are men and women who offer their services in exchange for coin. Though, they're seldom as sharp as adventurers like yourself. Uh, they're no strangers to life's more menial tasks, tasks which your lot might not think worth your time. Retainers can provide a host of different services from tending to tending your items to protecting your gill. Oh, and you need not worry about providing recompense for a retainer's services. The Adventurer's Guild will not only cover his salary, but also replace anything that goes missing. Would you wind up? Keep your belongings gone and your retainer nowhere to be found. Oh, what services can they provide? Uh, another job retainer, uh, retainers are often asked to perform uh, is sending, is tending of items placed up for sale in markets, something adventurers cannot be bothered to do themselves. If you wish to experience the market yourself i wish you seek out nearby message boards okay how do i summon retainers are employed by summoning anytime special bells like this one nearby there's a bell where's the bell ding ding okay all right so oh no nothing hire a retainer according to our records um, you may hire up to two retainers. Currently, you have no retainers in your employ. While customize your retainer, you will un be unable to communicate with players and engage in other activities. Yes, let's hire a retainer. Um, excellent. Uh, we will be quite a few men and women on our list, so I invite you to describe the retainer you desire down to the most mini minute detail. Load previous... Um, no, we don't have any... All right. Um... 
I get to choose what they look like? For real? Okay, uh, maybe we just choose a big dude. He seems fun. All right, yes. We want the biggest dude there is. And we like that guy, okay. Oh my gosh, I have to go through this whole thing again. All right, there's my retainer's appearance. He's badass. Uh, I can think of several retainers that exactly as you describe, oddly enough, uh, they have strikingly different personalities. Would you be so kind as to state the preference would be most helpful? Uh, polite, rough, serious, carefree, independent, lively. Um, we're going to go with serious. All right. Serious, Rodgadian, male. I've come. What is it? When dismissed, the retainer will bid you farewell. Just so, I will go now. Okay, hire this retainer, yes. It's also customary to give the retainer an appellation of one's own making, a nickname. Okay, um, Rothgar. Hire services of Rothgar. One moment, please, I will draft the proper documentation. The name has been chosen, is not available. Please select another. Bilbo. The name you've chosen is not available. Please select another. Okay, this might take a while. Krill is now in your employ. <laughs> you can summon a new retainer using the nearby bell. If you have further questions or requests, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, where's the bell? Oh. Krill, hello, none in progress. Okay, let's click on him. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's amazing. <laughs> I've come, what is it? Oh, uh, retainers, many tasks. Entrust with or withdraw items, entrust or withdraw gill, sell items um, in your inventory on the market, sell items in your retainer's inventory on the market. Sell items in my inventory on the market. Um, okay. Sure, that. Put up for sale. I have no idea. Shouldn't he, isn't he supposed to do that? Um, I was not prepared to pick that. Um, all right, let's click on that. Um, entrust items. You can't give him... Oh, open your armory chest. There we go. I give him all the stuff. I don't need any of this stuff. Okay, we'll keep that stuff. Uh, we'll keep... I don't know. Uh, the weapons is fine. Let's start with the the weapons, okay? Um, put up for sale. This item cannot be put up for sale. All right, put up for sale. Um, asking price four. I don't even know. Is it is that what it's worth? Sells for four gil. Okay, sure. Let's do that. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. If you guys have anything that's better, tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Um, I guess it just kind of puts it up for what it thinks it's worth. Um, sells for 17 gil. Okay. Um, all right, so we, we did that. Is there anything else I do have to do? Um, if you have a retainer, your employee, you can have her place uh, a five percent task is charged on every sale great five percent of my four gill whatever uh selling items on the market to put an item up for sale you must first entrust it to your retainer okay we did that um next select the item in your inventory so we did that uh, items that are untradeable or bound you cannot be sold to other players therefore you've been able to remove them from your retainer's inventory on the market window okay cool all right so is that it? Um, I will go now. Okay, there he goes. 
he went off and running. Uh, retainer is summoned. Another center of ventures. Okay. Uh, to entrust an item. Okay, we've already done that. We know. We know how. Okay. I wonder how long it takes. Is it instantaneous or does it happen right away? Let's see. Krill. Inventory. Selling three items. Venture. None in progress. You're no longer. I've come. What is it? Sell your items on the market. Oh, okay. So he, ha so he hasn't done it yet. Okay. Um, so we can entrust. Retrieve. So anything that's bound. Untradeable. 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 Binding. All right. So. All right. So he's already taken all the stuff out of his retainer. So um, quit. I will go now. All right. So he's going to go do his thing. All right. Well, there you go. That's how you hire a retainer. So if you are looking for where they are, we are in the Sapphire Exchange in Ulda. Um, I'm sure there's more around the area. Uh, if you don't know, please um, go ahead and take a look. But all right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of how to use Fantasia and also how to use a retainer. Thanks for watching, everybody. As always, take care and be well. I'll catch you guys in an upcoming episode.